Welcome back. This is episode two of Let's Play Minecraft. So, uh, last time I left off, and uh, there used to be a wall here, but I uh, I took that and got rid of it. All right, hold on. I'm gonna change a couple of things in here. I don't really need a far render distance. I've got uh, minimal particles, all that other good jazz. Doesn't really help to lag much. So I guess I'll just close a couple things until that works. Wow, much better. All right. So uh, the uh, the one comment that I've got is um, Spagnetti, and he said, uh, "Let's pally, great start with." And um, I would like to point out that uh, my naming this world "Let's Pally" was intentional. Just thought I'd throw that out there. So I uh, guess I need to cut down a couple more trees and uh, one thing that I really want to get done today is get some chests. Let's get some chests. Uh oh. Yeah, whatever. Ah. There we go couple of chests and uh, get my chests started because I always have a bunch of chests. So this one will be cobblestone, this one will be dirt. I don't know what this one will be. This one can be wood. So I probably need a couple of signs to go with those. Because I definitely want to stay organized. So this one can be dirt. Grass, well, not grass, dirt, sand, gravel, glass, because I always put those together, just to keep them out of the way, mostly. Get this sign, and this one can be our cobblestone and smooth stone, also stone slabs. There we go, and uh, I think that's all for now. So uh, I'm going to make some sticks and make me a couple stone pickaxes because I really don't want to have to come back up here. So uh, let's go down. All right, first off, though, I'm going to drop all of my stuff in this chest up here because if I die, I don't want to lose any of it. So I need to take a bit of food. So i got to take one raw beef. Let's make myself a furnace real quick. Stick that beef in there with some wood. Whoops, I only grabbed seven. How did I only grab seven? No, I grabbed eight. What's with that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How was I missing one though before? I don't know. Put some beef in there, cook it up. Chop down another tree while I'm waiting. Damn, big oak trees. Damn, more big oak trees. This is not optimal. So I think I'm going to install Optifine. Uh, just so that I can get this working faster. Because uh, as it is, I've, I'm experiencing quite a bit of lag for no apparent reason. And uh, I find that irritating. So uh, again, I'm still in the sort of experimental stages. So... Oh good, now that I've got more wood, I can make more chests. Chest. Chest. Sticks. signs. Another double chest. Alright, this one can be our tools, weapons, and armor. And as always, goes right next to that, mob drops. And that gets a whole double chest all to itself. For right now, and right now only, this is going to be our miscellaneous. Until, alright, so I got some food. So I'm going to eat this food. 
make some torches. So I gotta cut down another tree. This is a pretty slow start, huh? Man. You know, I should have made all these preparations off camera beforehand, just to speed things along. But uh, it kind of detracts from that whole immersive feel of the, the Let's Play. But uh, I still think I should have done that. So next time I will make all of the necessary preparations for the episode beforehand. Just so that we don't have to go through this. Alright, let's burn these light planks. Nobody likes the light planks. They're ugly. What a hideous color for planks. <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. Alright, in the meantime, let's start sorting things out. Get all our mob drops. And uh, the leather. And put those over there in the chest. This, 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 and this. Alright, good thing I have a lot of leather already. For the tools... Uh, I'm going to be using all of this except for this axe, so stone pickaxes, wooden shovel. Always keep some wooden planks on you, because that just uh, makes it safe. Alright, there we go, we got some charcoal. So that way you can always use your wooden planks for sticks and torches and maybe a crafting table if you desperately need it when you're down wherever you're going. So I'm just going to stick the torches right on the stone. There we go. And keep going. Hopefully I'll hit a cave system when I go down here. So that I can get, uh, start get it, getting the Thaumcraft going. Because one thing that you absolutely need starting off is a Vise Crystal. Which I kind of touched on recently. Oh, <laughs> well, there we go. Alright, these are Earthen Vise Crystals. As you can see, they're green. They will be the most common that I'm going to be finding because I am in a forest biome and uh, the different the depending upon what biome you're in more vis crystals spawn uh, er, it's more common for certain vis crystals to generate than others uh, sorry about that noise in the background it's the phone ringing but uh, in the so one thing I'm gonna need is a furnace and I guess I'll just make that right now. So I'm going to set these aside for now because I don't have the required amount of iron. Because the last thing that you need to craft your crucible, which is the item that you're going to be using most often in Thaumcraft, um, well, possibly most often, uh, you need a cauldron, which is something that isn't really used all that much in original Minecraft. But uh, Thaumcraft gives you a nice little twist for it. it. Let's you use it to craft your crucible. Keep going down. I'm okay. Definitely installing Optifine after this. So hopefully the third episode will be able to be much less laggy. Alright, that's a good amount of iron, but it's still not enough. I need seven iron, and I only got six from that. So, going down... Oh, my, there, my first, first pick broke. Let's get back up to here, put a torch there. Put this pick in its place, and keep going. So I'm glad that I got the Vise Crystal, and I'm glad that I got this amount of iron, but it's still not enough. Alright, this this lag is very irritating, so I'm going to have to do what I did last episode and restart the world. Hopefully that'll kick the render down a bit. Maybe if I kick the render down once more it'll... No, it just made it a lot worse. Alright, so it seems that my main challenge is battling the lag. Oh, and it suddenly smoothed out. I always find it suspicious when lag just kind of smooths out. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a bit of a phlegm in my throat. Phlegm. Lovely, huh? 
Alright, hop back into that right there. Do I have smooth lighting on? Maybe if I turn that off. Sorry about the jump there. Uh, my screen capture software that I'm currently using only lets me capture 10 minutes at a time. So I kind of have to patch the video together. Uh, I'm thinking of getting fraps, but it's a little expensive. And I'm a little pressed for money at the moment. So, uh, and I don't really want to, like, torrent it or anything, because that just feels... Alright, I hear water. Maybe it's this way. Sounds like it's above me. I'm just gonna dig around until I find this water. Alright, I stopped hearing it. And maybe while I'm digging about, I'll run into something else as well. Something, anything. Maybe interesting. Alright, nothing in this way. Better drop a torch so I don't get monsters coming out of it. <coughs> drop a torch up here, too. Here we go. Down, down, down. The road goes ever down, 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 down. Yeah, I know that's not how the song goes. Chop, chop, chop. Good. Got some coal. Now I can make legitimate torches instead of these weird little charcoal torches. Oh, well, there you go. I found the cave. I got the right amount of iron, and uh, I found a cave. So I think I can call today's objectives achieved. Well, no, come back, iron. Uh oh, that leads right down to lava. Come on, float away. Oh, look. Okay, so uh, you notice? Remember, I was talking about quicksilver earlier. That right there, underneath the water. This is. Cinnabar ore, which you can melt down. Let me grab it. Get back up to my furnace and I'll show you. You can melt it down to make quicksilver. So it's an alternative. Well, actually, I suppose the silverwoods would be the alternative source for silverwood. Or not silverwood. It's, uh, quicksilver. I'm gonna, just going to trip over my own tongue here. It's not like it hasn't been in my mouth for 19 years. <laughs> okay. Iron. Coal. Remove the charcoal. Make torches. Pop up. Because now that I have real coal, I don't need that silly charcoal stuff. Alright, now I need a chest to keep my coal, iron, gold, diamonds, lapis, obsidian, and other what have you in it. Chop, chop, chop. There we go. That's a good amount of wood. I'm going to use that. Wood, 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 wood. Give me that wood. Another sign. Two more chests. Alright, so if that's my mob drops. Oh! Looks like I forgot to take that part of the wall off. If those are my mob drops, then these will be. What goes next to mob drops? I don't know, I'll just stick it here then. Coal and iron. Gold. Diamond. Lapis. Obsidian. And I'm also going to be putting flint in there, but that's less important. Alright, so I've got my 8 iron. And I'm going to show you... So this is going to be your very first 
important Thaumcraft. Uh, very important Thaumcraft recipe is you put a furnace, regular furnace, a cauldron, which is made with seven pieces of iron in a giant U-shape, and any Vs crystals. You can use any kind of crystal other than a tainted crystal, I believe. And you make a crucible. So uh, I'm just going to put this in the corner, and pretty interesting, crucible, right there. It, uh, I can't really use it for anything right now, because I have to look something up first. So while I do that, I'm just going to natter on about something unimportant. Thom craft to home back to game. Click Thaumatorium. See, like I said, I'm going to be referencing the wiki quite a bit. All right, so I need four more iron. Excellent, I have exactly four iron. Wonderful. So, but I'm also going to need a lot of smooth stone and another earthen crystal. So I got to wait on my furnace. So while I do that, I hate to waste time. So shoot! Ah! I got him. Foul beast! Thou art no match for I. My grammar is terrible. Chopping down my trees. So uh, what I really hope to do is create my first bit of enchanted wood today. All right, got the iron. Now I'm gonna need some smooth stone. Just stick eight in there. Get myself a piece of coal. Slap that in there. Keep chopping trees. I hate to stand still and just like watch things. It's terribly inefficient. So the good news is that I have one of these great wood trees right here. So I can take a couple of pieces of wood from that. I'm also going to need some sand. So luckily, oh, I guess not luckily. I thought there was a river there. I was quite sure there was a river there. Ah, oh, there's a body of water over there. Bodies of water usually have sand around them. This one does not at all. Wow, wonderful. So, uh, the quest for sand while I kill cows. Come here, cow. Cow, 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 cow. I got him. And a chicken. Alright, here's some sand. Excellent. Replace it with dirt because I hate flowing water. Well, I don't hate flowing water itself. I hate being stuck in flowing water. It's massively irritating. Alright, got me some sand. Head back to the house. And uh, I'm thinking I should install a mod so that I don't get lost. Like some kind of map or waypoint creator. So uh, tell me what y'all think of that. Because uh, if I get lost, then I will probably spend a good deal of an episode looking for my house. So I really hope not to do that. Alright, here we go. Smooth stone. So I'm going to need a stone slab. And this is important. You're going to need a, a good number of stone slabs, not like a whole ton of them but some. So this is your second very important Thaumcraft recipe. Three smooth stone across the bottom. Vis crystal in the middle. Four iron on the sides like so. And one stone slab. And this is the item that you will probably use the most in the entire game is the Thaumic infuser. So what I'm gonna do is stick it right here right next to my crucible. So, the thing in uh, Thaumcraft is that every single item has Vs in it. it. It's the inherent value of the item. And so when I toss items in my crucible, it is able to melt down the items into their respective amount of Vs. Unfortunately, crucibles are fairly inefficient, 
and so they also produce half of that vis as taint or at least this crucible does. This is the lowest crucible. There are three different crucibles and uh, this one is the lowest so it creates 50 so it creates 50 percent vis and 50 percent taint. Sorry about that blip again. So I'm just gonna toss some things in there and uh, the the more rare an item is the more it produces so a wooden log will not produce all that much and cobblestone produces practically nothing so I could stick a whole stack of cobblestone in there and it wouldn't do much so this is your infuser interface and uh, this is what you're gonna be using to create most of your items it runs off of V's and this right here is your progress bar this right here is an upgrade that you can install which I will get to probably much later this little region up here is uh, booster seals or, or how much it's being affected by booster seals which again I'll get to much later but this right here you can use right now so uh, what I'm gonna do is I need great wood logs so I'm going to make enchanted wood so any of these six slots around the triangular edge you can put stuff in so I can put it here I can put it here I can put it here and uh, you can put up to six items in so I'm gonna put my great wood log and I'm gonna put this feast crystal and Oh, I didn't put enough feast in there. As you can see, this has turned dark purple, so the only thing left in this crucible is taint. I don't really want to waste an apple. So I'll pitch some logs in there. And uh, the crucible complete. So it burned off my crystal, it burned off my logs, and it used and it created enchanted wood. So that's the only difference between great wood logs and normal logs, is that great wood logs will produce five enchanted wood, and normal logs will produce four. So uh, I should have stuck this sand in this in here beforehand but uh, there we go so uh, the last thing I want to do before I close off this video is show you how to make a V storage tank so uh, I'm gonna get some more stuff to chuck in there while we're waiting get some saplings I don't ever use those oh right those flowers that I gathered at the very beginning like I said I'm gonna boil them down and burn them off so just pitch anything you want in here, but uh, be, do be careful because it will melt down normal items, like, but only if it's f at full durability. Like if you see, I try to pitch my uh, my pickaxe in there, it'll sit there, but it, then it spits it back out again. So if I try my axe, oh, it spits it out. My sword spits it out. But if I try this full stone pickaxe, then it just melts it down. All right, so. And this is just a regular crafting, so you need four enchanted wood, and you put those in the corners. And this is your third very important uh, Thomcraft recipe. Um, oh wait, no, I forgot. Is it? Oh no, it is glass panes, that's right. Of course, my bad. So, so you take six glass, and you put them so that you make glass panes. There we go, 16 glass panes. And now you do the same thing. You put these glass in these four slots and the enchanted wood on the corners. And you get a Vs storage tank. So if you go here and put that right next to your crucible, it'll start filling up with everything inside your crucible. Like so. So if now if I am to throw something in here, let's try this raw beef. Oops. It will melt down in the crucible and be transferred to my Vs tank. So last off. If I don't want to put my infuser right next to my crucible, as it no longer has Vs in it, I put it right next to my Vs storage tank. And then if I enchant something, it will draw, draw the Vs straight out of the tank and put it in the infuser. So uh, that's all for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Again, please comment. Please leave me some suggestions. Uh, rate, subscribe, and I think next episode, or maybe off camera, I'm going to put a roof on this house and uh, get a little bit more... I'm going to need to find some more Vs crystals for this infuser. I'm going to put a couple more tanks on top of that. And uh, maybe if I find some gold, I'm going to show you how to make the next very important Vs or very important recipe. And I'll add an extra room onto my house just for that. So uh, I'll see you next time, and thanks for watching.